Do no. Because I'm going to, we're going to role play and I'm going to say something biased <laughs> right off the spot. <laughs> See if you can notice it. All right. All right. What, what is the setup then that's in your minds, Kim? Where is this conversation starting? With we're just right? having a one on one meeting. Okay. okay. Oh, perfect. Sure. Hey, Jasona, I want to talk to you about your little project. Uh, okay, sure. I think you're really, on this little project that you're working on, I, I think you're really sort of upsetting some of the guys on the team. You're, you're coming across like kind of a tough broad, and mm. it's making it hard for you to do your work. It's making it hard for the guys to work with you. Yeah. Um, you know, Kim, it's, it's a little hard. It's a little hard for me to, to hear, to hear this feedback, at, at least in the way that, that, that you're sharing it for, for two reasons. One, you know, right now the project doesn't feel little to me. It's like takes up almost all of my time. It feels like a pretty big responsibility and and two I, I feel like you know part what, of my what, job is it too big for you you think i need to give it to get some help for you on this little project well i i, I feel like we shouldn't we shouldn't diminish the 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 amount of 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 work that it takes i don't feel like i i need well, help I'm do you think you, i need I'm help i'm sorry you feel that way that i'm diminishing it uh, cuz i don't know what i said to diminish that project it's you know you better get it done on time i i i plan to get it done on time but when you call it little it makes it sound insignificant well when you've had as much experience as i've had you'll understand you'll you'll get the context but okay i i'll call it your Super important project, Jasona's super important project. Let's let's keep going. Okay. Well, and and I, I think the the other thing I was I was going to say is that you know as a project manager, I kind of feel like it's my job to to be tough, um, to make sure, like as you said, I have to deliver this project on time. And so, isn't it important for for me to be tough? Not so tough that you intimidate the men around you so that they won't work with you. I mean, I saw you the other day. You know, I, I appreciate the, the, the quality of the work you did was really good. But you were in a meeting and you were sitting there like with your legs spread. And that was just distracting for the guys. You should have had your legs crossed. Did the guys say that it was distracting or I this saw is your where own their observation eyes were going i mean they didn't have to say a word yeah i i feel like that's not that's not my problem did, did you notice were any of the guys sitting with their legs spread well i mean i know you're a good girl and you wouldn't be looking in their crotches but boys will be boys you know what they do they're just going to look. I mean, you just have to accept this. This is reality. You're working with a lot of men. You got to cross your legs. If you sit with your legs spread that way, they're just going to look in your crotch. That, that that seems like a pretty ridiculous and unfair standard to, to hold me to. I, I do think I, I'm I'm good at my job. Uh and, Look, and, you're you're working with men, and you got to accept that you are a young woman working with a bunch of men, and you there are certain things you just can't do. I'm gonna pause us here. <laughs> okay, so, so, I had to hide okay. your face because you're making me laugh. All of these things, yeah. by the way, have been said to me. <laughs> I'm not just making them up. Yep, yeah, I believe it. I don't even know where to start. I will say, Kim, you <laughs> embodied that role so well.